Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 9th of June 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 which reads, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and by his wounds we are healed. I have quite a few scars on my body, none of which were self-inflicted. There are some also emotional scars, and those scars which other people cannot see. None of us ever get out of this life without a scar or two. I also hasten to add that you are never to be ashamed of your scars, because they are the visible sign of a struggle that is within many of us. Perhaps you ran through a glass door as an excited child playing games with your friends, or ridden your bicycle and flown over the handlebars and landed on the ground? Well, I have, and I can tell you, at that time, it wasn't a pleasant experience. It was painful. The stories our scars tell always involve pain. Some visible, but perhaps the worst ones, are hidden. Those wounds scar over deep within and perhaps hide the shame that you may have experienced. In our minds, the enemy whispers, you are the abused one, you are the divorced one, you are the addict. The enemy wants to define us by our scars, but Jesus wants to define you by his scars. There's a big difference between our scars and those of Jesus. Jesus bore that pain which caused his to free us from our shame. The devotional verse reminds us this morning, but he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. Jesus was killed by crucifixion, nailed by his hands and feet to a cross, and left there to hang until he died from suffocation. After his resurrection, those scars in his hands and his feet and the side were his identifying feature. See my hands and see my feet, he said to his disciples, that it is I myself. Touch me and see. My dear friends, Jesus has the scars to prove that you are of great value to him. When you accept his healing in your life, your scars then point to him to tell a new story of restoration and redemption. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.